In Tutankhamun's treasures, archaeologists found more than 3,000 artifacts. These treasures include diamonds, gems, and gold-plated items. However, this priceless treasure is worthless, but if we estimate its value, it worths more than 2 billion US dollars. All this treasure and the mummy of Tutankhamun was buried in the Valley of the Kings several feet below the ground in a secret tomb. In 1992, his tomb was discovered by an archaeologist Howard Carter. Let us explore the 17 most unique treasures found in Tutankhamun's tomb, from which the lavish lifestyle of the king can be estimated. Before starting this video, I would like to recommend you for spending your time watching such informational and educational videos, because there are thousands of ways to waste time on social media but by watching such videos, you get better understanding of the world and you gain some knowledge. If you want to watch more knowledgeable videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos notifications thanks. Number 17. When Tutankhamun's mummy was scanned first time, two daggers were found attached under the bandages, one of them was made of iron, while the other was made of gold, the iron-made dagger was tied to the right leg of Tutankhamun, its special feature is that it was not made of an ordinary iron, it was made of the iron extracted from meteorite. That is, if it is said that the origin of this dagger is not our world, then it will not be wrong to say. At that time, such a priceless and unique thing could only be held by a person like King Tutankhamun. Number 16, a unique recovery from King Tutankhamun's tomb is a death mask, perhaps this is the most famous among the treasures found here, this king's mask was made very carefully and neatly, and which, King Tut used to wear in his reign, his coffin was also covered with it after his death. This mask is 21 inches long made of pure gold, precious and rare stones were also used abundantly. As the king's eyes are made of precious stones, like obsidian and quartz, obsidian is a type of stone which is produced by volcanic magma, this mask was made by attaching two sheets of gold, the total weight of which is 10 kilograms. Number 15, to pass their time, Egyptian kings used to play board games, because in Tutankhamun's treasure, for board games were also found, Games dice were mostly carved from ivory, but what were the exact rules to play these games, nobody have the exact idea. Number 14, archaeologists also found a statue with broken arms, at first, it was hard to understand that who the statue belonged to, and why its arms were cut off, later it was found that it was a ditto copy of King Tutankhamun's body shape, it was first estimated by wearing the clothes of the king whether the clothes look good or not, in King Tutankhamun's Almora, twelve royal clothes. More than two dozens of sandals and hundreds of other clothes were found. Number 13, Tutankhamun's mummy was buried with shoes made of gold, these 11.6 inches long sandals were prepared by pressing pure gold sheet with hammer with great skill, according to experts, Tutankhamun did not wear these golden sandals in his lifetime. Rather these were specially prepared for his mummy to wear. Number 12, King Tut's mummy was locked in three separate coffins, and their total weight is 1,250 kilograms, Tutankhamun's face is engraved on these three coffins, where he can be seen holding crook and flail, these crook and flail used to be a symbol of deity or god in ancient Egypt, most of the inner parts of these coffins are made of gold whereas the outer parts were made of gold-plated wood. The most inner coffin is made of pure gold, in which the king's mummy was wrapped in special linen. Number 11. Among the treasures found in the king's tomb, there are two royal thrones as well, which were made of such type of wood which is called ebony, this is a special wood which does not float in water, and it shines like a mirror when polished. The other one is known as a golden throne, which is decorated with the king's and his wife's artwork, here in this image, his wife can be seen spraying some perfume on king's body, this throne is up to 5 meters in height and wrapped in special linen cloth. This throne is covered with gold and silver layers, whereas its legs are designed like a lion's legs, 
decoration of rare stones and glass can be observed everywhere on this throne. Number 10, from Tutankhamun's tomb, Howard Carter also discovered six chariots, two of them apparently looks like state chariots, on top of them, a little umbrella is attached for shade, images of foreign prisoners are carved on the right sides of the chariots, whereas on the left side, in hieroglyphic writing, the name of Tutankhamun and his queen Anka Senamun is written. They also have an image of solar falcon with large wings, it is written in hieroglyphic that this is the god of the sun, it appears from these designs of the chariots that, king used to travel on them with his wife, who were protected by the falcon which Egyptians believed was god of the sun. Number 9, world's oldest well-preserved bugles were also found in Tutankhamun's tomb, archaeologists found two bugles from here, one of them is made of silver and the other one is made of gold-plated brass. These Tutankhamun's bugles were played in 1939 by a famous musician James Tapper. Number 8. Ancient Egyptians believed a jackal-shaped statue as to be their god, which was placed for the protection of king or queen's mummy. This deity was named Anubis. In King Tutankhamun's tombs, this statue made of gold and wood was also found. Number 7. This painting made on the tomb's wall is not less than a treasure, this painting made in thousands of years ago, still can be seen in its original colors, in this painting, King Tutankhamun is meeting Osiris, at that time Osiris was known to be a deity, who had the status of the god of the underworld, since King Tut was died at the age of 19, therefore he has been shown meeting Osiris. Number 6 this wooden box which is made of ivory, was also found in King Tutankhamun's tomb, there are some paintings on this box, which could not have been explained till today, what was inside it, and what did the king use this box for, it is still unknown and research is still being done on it. Number 5, this cup is carved from a single piece of alabaster, which is shaped like a lotus flower, Alabaster is a type of stone which is softer than any other stone, there are hieroglyphic writing, which means the king may live longer. Number 4, this is the jar in which King Tutankhamun kept his cosmetics, this jar was also engraved with single piece of alabaster, and a lion is sitting on its lid, whereas the statues of Egypt's enemies can be seen buried under the weight of the jar. Number 3, this bed was also found in Tutankhamun's treasures, though this is made of wood, but it is covered with a gold shield, it was shaped like a cow because, at that time the cow was known as to be a Hathor deity, and in ancient Egypt, this deity was believed to be a god of love and fertility. Number 2, in ancient Egypt, hippopotamus was hunted quite frequently, those people felt proud by gifting hippos meat, fat, and above all various objects made of its teeth, this little statue, was also found in King Tut's tomb, in which, he can be seen hunting hippo with the help of harpoon, although King Tut was a disabled person, but experts believe that he used to go for hunting even in this condition. And now, number 1, 18 small boats were also found in Tutankhamun's treasures, surely, these small wooden boats were not used by the king actually, but these are made so neatly as if there were to float actually, small sails of clothes are also installed on them, and a small statue of sphinx is made on one side of them, according to researchers, these boats were buried with him to make his afterlife easier. Hope you like the video, if you like the video, please share it to your friends, and subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon for more informative videos, thanks for your loving comments, see you in the next video.